Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stylescape video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly set up different color variations of your trees. Um, to do that, let's quickly go ahead and go to the Foilage tab and let's select the Oak Tree 01. We're going to use this for our first example. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. And let's we, we want to browse to the leaves and the imposture materials to make a we want to make some duplications. So hit Control W, and I'm going to call mine a blue since I'm going to start off with a blue variation. Do the same for the imposter material. Duplicate well, blue, and let's also open up the uh, imposter material that we just created, and let's also browse to the imposter texture and duplicate that, and call it. Uh, call this blue and add the D end of that and then we will assign the blue texture to the material to the blue imposter material and then save okay and then let's also browse to the static mesh duplicate that and then call it blue so basically we're just duplicating everything and uh, adding the the color tag to the every single uh, asset that it uses for the most part. Okay, so now that we're, uh, oh, we also have to assign the uh, trailers we just created here. Um, assign the blue. And let's also apply the blue imposter. Now we should be fully set to uh, start making this text, this uh, tree blue. I'm gonna move this over here. And let's start off by opening up the material, the leaves, blue material, and start making it blue. You want to change the leaves color, SS color, and the emissive color. And change that real quick. Okay. So now our tree is blue. We also now have to change the imposter. Um, let's first change the hue of the imposter texture. Go ahead and open it up and scroll down to hue. Make I'm gonna go with uh, 100. Then let's also save and close that, and then uh, we want to make sure we start off with enabling this extract trunk mask. I'm going to save this real quick. Um, before I go further, I'm just going to close this. Actually, one sec. We need to um, duplicate. We need to create a foliage type for the static mesh. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate an existing one. So to do that, I'm going to browse to the original tree that we have here, foliage types folder, and duplicate uh, the oak tree 01. I'm going to call mine blue. Save it, open it up, go back to the trees folder and assign the blue version of it and save. I'm going to close that, minimize this, and let me add, uh, I'm going to open up the trees procedure volume and duplicate the first uh, oak tree 01 here and assign the new foliage type that we created. And then I'm going to just hit re-simulate. All right, so now we have blue trees. Since we changed the color of the imposter and the leaves color. It's fairly close, except the issue now is that the trunk color is uh, mismatched from the original, since we changed the hue of the entire imposter texture. Uh, so to circumvent that, um, we just have to change the uh, imposter material slightly. So to do that, let's go ahead and change the base color multiplier. This will change the color of the trunk. As you can see, hopefully you can see it's changing the color of that. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, I suppose. We want it really close to the original. 
I think I want to change the base color brightness. Let's make it two. Okay, yeah, this changes the color of the trunk, uh, the, the brightness of the trunk. So I think around two might be good. Yeah, it looks pretty close. Turn on the brightness a little bit on this side of the color. Alright, so yeah, I think these trees turned out pretty well. Hopefully this video helped you guys on how to create your own color variations. And if you have any more questions or if you need any help, uh, just let me know and I'll do the best I can. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.